guys, so I got the hot tent with me. And I got a liner from Lux Hiking Gear. So this is just a liner that you secure into the tent. And then have it kind of staked out. And it gives you plenty of room inside for like a liner. And then you can just put all your gear all over. So, and it weighs the same as my tent, my Perea. So, I'm super excited for this. And uh, really excited for how it's gonna do tonight. So, I'll get this finished, I'll get my bed set up. And then uh, we'll get dinner going because it is definitely later. Okay, what's up guys? So, I'm recording this on my phone so the audio is going to be bad. Because um, my camera is out there. Anyways, so I'm in the, this the mesh liner of this tent. And not bad. It's a little more claustrophobic than, like, obviously the Perea uh, tent, but it's not bad. Uh, it's just barely big enough for me from head to toe, as you can see. It's touching right there. Um, but this thing's awesome. I'm loving how much room this tent gives me. And then to add this mesh liner just makes it that much better. So I'm looking forward to how this treats me over the evening um but anyways what we're gonna do go to bed wake up in the morning uh we accidentally took a wrong cutoff so we ended up at wall lake this is my stupid navigation mistake so i'm going to probably hike somewhere and go fishing in the morning we'll see i have to be out of here and be down to 10 be in the park city by like 12 30 or 1 so i gotta get there so we'll see what happens um but super nice it's not really cold it's cool but not cold so i'm looking forward um, to this so we'll see how i do see you in the morning <laughs> Good morning, guys. Um, I know I haven't done a lot of filming here on this trip, but uh, we woke up this morning pretty late, about 8.30, 9 o'clock, and uh, we just kind of hung around camp. The wind has been crazy all evening long. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's been this way all evening. Sorry, let me adjust this. Anyways, so we are at Wall Lake. We didn't mean to come to Wall Lake, but this is just where we ended up. So, I mean, great view of Wall Lake. We're up here on the cliffs. So, what we're gonna do is we're either gonna try and fish. Um, my spinner rod reel, somehow the line broke deep inside so it's not, it just spins off. So I can't cast just with a regular spinner rod, but I have my fly rod. But with this wind, I don't know, we'll see what I can do. Um, I've gotta be out of here. Um, fairly soon so I don't know what the plan is but we're probably gonna hike down over here out and head out that way it's probably the easier kind of better way so um, yeah it's been a good trip um, yeah it's just been me Eric and Jordan Jordan is a friend of mine that wanted to come he's been wanting to come for a while and we're glad to have him along with us um, let's see what else I don't know if you can hear me but that tent was awesome. The Lux hiking gear inner liner with that uh, one tiger smoky hut. That probably is going to become my new favorite, like four season, even like three season backpacking setup because it is so roomy and so nice. I'll get in out of the wind. Anyways, so yeah, I really like that and it was really comfortable and actually stayed really warm inside the tent. So. Really enjoyed that and slept really good.
Okay guys, so we are almost to the Crystal Lake Trailhead parking lot. And uh, so one tip, if you guys are trying to get to like a couple of these lakes and you're new to backpacking, especially in like the Crystal Lake Trailhead area or any of the really high populated areas with a lot of people and no parking, come in the fall or early spring. Yes, it is colder. Um, days are shorter things like that but all too often I've come up here to try and just check off a few more lakes off my list and when I do it in like the summer like the regular season there's just too many people so I come in the fall like it's end of September right now and it's really not that bad so you can come here and have a really good time cooler weather isn't always bad and if you time it right it won't be too cold so that's just one tip I have if you're trying to plan in high populated areas, off season times. If you get the right gear, which sometimes doesn't take much more than just a few things outside of like a three season setup, you can go to some cool areas and have some great times. So this trip was super nice. It was just really re relaxing trip because we were just trying to get out and just have a good time it wasn't trying to visit somewhere new even though we were trying to get up to a different lake but we just got a late start because of work and whatnot so that's why we didn't go to somewhere new but it was still good had a lot of fun and uh we'll definitely be coming out soon before the snow flies for some more fall camping so Thank you.